My name is Melanie Nutter. I'm the director of the San Francisco Department of the Environment. So the reason that cities are so important to the fight against climate change is cities is really where the action happens. Um, at the local level in cities, that's where you can see changes in transportation to reduce our carbon emissions, um, integrated waste management systems that also have effect on reducing carbon, and uh, implementing renewable energy projects as well as energy efficiency projects. Those are all examples of really on the ground, uh, hands-on work that happens in cities that really can help reduce carbon. And when cities band together and implement these types of policies, um, that's where we can really see broad scale change on climate change and see massive reductions in carbon um, nationally and internationally. What does San Francisco bring to the C40? Um, San Francisco is a city that prides itself on um, being one of the most sustainable cities in the U.S. We are not afraid to take risks. We embrace innovative policies and programs. And so um, we bring to C40 a lot of examples of things that have worked well at the local level. So um, we've really had uh, a great opportunity to share some success stories and uh, offer some ideas for policies and programs that do work and help cities reduce carbon and combat climate change. San Francisco does have a uh, innovative program to get to zero waste by 2020. This is something that our Board of Supervisors implemented um, as a policy a number of years ago, and our department is in charge of implementing that and making sure that we can reach zero waste by 2020. Um, what that essentially means is we have a number of policies and programs that we've put in place to ensure that residences and, uh, residents and businesses in San Francisco can participate in this program and help us get to zero waste. Right now, today, San Francisco recycles and composts 77% uh, of our waste. So that means that 77% of our waste is diverted from the landfill. Um, this is one of the nation's highest diversion rates, or actually, 77% um, is the highest diversion rate in any major U.S. city. And uh, we got there really by setting up easy-to-use programs for residents and businesses, and also by using our policy toolbox to mandate uh, recycling and composting in San Francisco. Um, we have a lot of really exciting programs in San Francisco in addition to our zero waste program. Um, one really exciting program is we are working on uh, home energy retrofits where we're offering uh, pretty good rebates. I'm sorry. We're offering very good rebates for San Francisco residents to um, get an energy audit and then do a full retrofit of their home. Um, this is really going to help in terms of reducing carbon emissions in San Francisco and helping us reach our climate goals. Another exciting program is that we are working to become the electric vehicle capital of the U.S. We're installing 80 charging stations in public areas throughout San Francisco in the next six months. And so anybody who's considering buying electric vehicle in San Francisco will very soon see the infrastructure that will support the electric vehicle market in San Francisco becoming a reality. The reason that something like C40 and the C40 Summit is so important is it's an opportunity for cities across the world to share best practices. If all of us are functioning in our silos and functioning in a vacuum and recreating the wheel with innovative policies and programs, it's going to take much longer for us to reach our carbon goals. And because of the urgency of climate change and the fact that we really do need to act now, this is the type of summit that amplifies all of the great work that's happening in cities around the world where we can learn from each other, share best practices, and find policies that are already working, um, programs that are already working, so we can very quickly uh, reduce carbon emissions and uh, combat climate change.